Hi, I'm Ron Nutter and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. This time, we're going to walk through setting up Alexa Guard. Now, I want to make real clear up front. Now, you can do it with such as the Echo Flex. You can do it with the Dot. You can do it with, with any of them. But keep in mind, this is what I would simply call a monitoring system. You're at this point with the base Alexa Guard, you're not going to be able to tie it in to motion sensors and, and all that. And even though if you have the Echo Flex with the motion sensor, that's still not what I would put in place and it's not recommended by, by Amazon. So why don't we walk through the process and we'll just take it one, one step at a time. So let's switch over to camera two and we'll make sure that we've got everything online. Computer, time. It's 2.55 p.m. Okay, well, it's, it's great when it works. Sometimes there's a little bit of a lag. So now what we'll go through and do with, uh, with that in place is we will go ahead and get in to the app on the smartphone. And I don't need to have that in place. So we will go here and we'll go into the Alexa app and we'll back out. Well, we'll just hit the home button and make it easier. So let's hit on the little three menu bars and then we will go to settings. And if we scroll down, there's guard. So we'll tap on guard and it's pretty much going to walk us through the process of getting it in place. So we'll do set up guard and Yes, we've got a smoke and CO2 alarm, and this is one of the things that it will detect is if you've got a CO2 or a smoke alarm, it will be able to listen for sounds that it's got already recorded for that. And if you know glass breaking, this is at least a way you know when somebody is trying to get in the house. So that's another good thing. So we'll tap yes for that. And we will add away lighting so when we set guard mode to on then this is something that can just automatically take care of that and we're going to give it a zip code so that it knows when to figure out that we've got that in place and as you see down here at the bottom that this is not a replacement for an alarm system because Amazon doesn't monitor and it's your whole deal with knowing that something happens when you get an alert so we'll set confirm okay all right and as it says right here on the screen this is how I mean this is it's it's this easy to do so we'll switch back over here to the echo flex and we'll say computer I'm leaving goodbye I'll start guarding now okay now that we've got it in guard mode I've already got a first alert smoke detector here, and we're going to actually hit the test button, and that should trigger the process. Okay, come on. You worked a minute ago. There we go. Okay. Okay, now I don't know if you heard it with all the chatter that was going on but it did sound uh, a, a tone right there at the flex and as you see let me switch back over here to this now we've had an alert come up on the phone well here here we go uh, well we had it there for a moment okay come on well okay here we go now we'll go back in on the process now see we can play a recording of what it heard we can also drop in on echo to make sure that it's actually the, the smoke alarm going off so that's something that it's at least an option especially if it's a home you're only at on the weekends or if it's a trailer that you've got where you vacation, but you're only there, say, a few weeks out of the year or something like that. This is at least an option. And this gives you an idea 
of what to do. Now it says a way lighting on. Obviously we need to go fix that and we'll have to go in and, and tweak that. But at this at least gets you up and running to see what's what's happening. So really this is a very straightforward thing to to set up and it is well worth the time. It's you, you know you get it as part of the Alexa or Amazon Eco system. So it's it's well worth the process of doing. You saw it takes just a few minutes to do it. And I'm going to do some more uh, testing with it and just kind of see what uh, what else we can do. Now I would suggest just to make sure that you have everything in place. And let's go back to the Alexa app. Is when you go and we're going to take it out of. See, so you can also take it to home mode. So we've just basically told it to not worry about anything. So if we go through here and go settings, device settings, and Echo Flex A. Now I would probably change my name. This is because I've got two of these. We're going to be using it with several uh, different videos coming up. So that is probably something you would label it kitchen. There's not, in, in at least in this uh, set up there is not really a room you associate with so I would name it probably the the name of the room so in this case uh, for right now we will just call it you know, tap there and we will go just call it studio for right now because I'll probably end up leaving it in here and now we should see it come online. It's going to have to do a little bit of a restart. Yeah, it hasn't totally finished yet, so it's coming back online. Apparently, these take a little bit of time to... There we go. There's Studios back online now. Okay, so we'll give another good old college try. Computer. Temperature. Computer. Temperature. Right now, it's 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 16 degrees. Okay, well, as you can see, it, it was very straightforward to set up. It only took a few minutes. There's obviously a lot of tweaking you can do, and I'm already seeing now where I want to do some experimentation with the lights and a little, little bit more about that. But it, this at least is a very basic setup of what you can do with Alexa Guard to let you know that if somebody has... Oh, broken some glass around the house such as they're trying to get in on the door or if you hear the smoke alarm or co2 off because let's face it i've paid for professional monitoring before didn't always have good results with it now there are two add-on systems one from ring and one from adt i was not able to get either one of those to do this video with so maybe at some point we will i just wasn't able to work things out with Ring and just hadn't heard back from, from ADT. So if anybody from ADT is watching this video, please reach out to me because I'd love to see about doing a future video with Alexa Guard and your product offering. So that's about all the time we have for now. We've got, you'll see some other videos coming up here or here following in, in the other items that I've done for smart home technology. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. We're approaching 2,000 subscribers, and that's certainly uh, a goal I didn't think I'd be getting anywhere near this soon. If you do click on subscribe, make sure you hit the notifications so that you get any alerts, at least you're supposed to, when new videos are released. I try to release those on Saturday and Sunday of each week. That's generally when it seems when I can get time in the studio to go do it. So that's all we've got for now. Thank you much for your time, and we'll see you again soon.